hello everyone uh, i am parth gupta and uh, i am a bca student at christ university bangalore uh, i am excited to welcome you to this insightful conversation with mr anurag gupta uh, mr anurag is a seasoned software professional with over 7 years of experience in the it industry uh, currently serving as a senior consultant at capgemini technology services india limited he brings a wealth of experience in adobe experience manager aem development uh before we dive into the conversation and the questions uh let me give you a brief overview of mr anurag's impressive background uh anurag is a certified aem developer specializing in utilizing aem 6.5 and aem cloud for designing web applications over the course of his career he has worked on diverse projects with notable companies like capgemini accenture mindry and infosys so uh, without further ado let's jump into our discussion about the so world of software engineering and uh, gain valuable insights from mr anurag so welcome sir and thank you for joining us today hope you are doing really well uh, to kick yeah, things thank off you, Bart. Uh, reflecting on your roles at capgemini accenture mindry and infosys of course could you discuss how each position contributed to your growth as a software engineer like in every company you learned many things so can you just discuss about that so let me start with infosys itself like there first of all the good thing which i got was a good training which i think no other company would be providing other than infosys even till today if we see yep. infosys gives the training of around 4 months that is a huge uh, i think tenure to give the training so they will not be allocating you to the project they will be giving completely uh, like keeping you in the training then only they will be give, uh, moving you for the projects so that is a good thing which i got to learn from uh, infosys while being from mechanical background and also in the four months tenure they will be not only the technical parts they will be teaching you they will be teaching you how the office culture works how do we discuss the things with the clients and how do we like uh, communication skills like writing communication skill they taught even the oral communications they taught like how should we speak to the client how should we write the mails to the client so those things i think those were good when i started with uh, infosys what sort of but technologies they that... taught you pardon uh, what sort of technologies they taught you in the four months yeah so they gave the training for i think one one month they used to dedicate for each uh, technology like first month i think they taught me oracle uh, like uh, sql and then the next month they taught java then uh, they taught us this Uh, they gave the option for AEM or uh, ATS. Then I selected the AEM. Then one month my training was in AEM. Then next month they will be giving, they will be making you ready for like communication part, like presentation skills. Okay. So after that only they will be allocating you to the projects. So yeah. that was the thing which I got to learn from Infosys. Then moving to Mindry, that uh, I got to learn detailed technical aspects of AEM, like how what are the various consoles in AEM. There are many things which AEM provides, like it is. part of java uh, it has many things included in this like we see java coding is part of this uh, html css javascript many things are there even coming to testing selenium they are using there yeah so there are many things which we can learn from it learn from it so those things i got to learn from mindry so after moving to after moving from mindry to accenture the kind of things which i got to learn there was like handling the pressure work pressure Until my entry, I was in, at the junior role, so uh, pressure level was not much. Leads used to take care of that uh, typical things, but when I went to Accenture, that time I started to take on the responsibilities, uh, kind of lead kind of uh, responsibilities, and so those kind of things we I got to learn there. Then moving to Capgemini, I completely became the lead. I I got the uh, I became the lead of the project. I used to allocate the task, which task I should give to the other team members. i used to first of all identify which uh, team member can handle which kind of task i used to give it to them then but the thing is they should be learning other aspects also like uh, someone is uh, good in one part but he should be good in another part also so for that what i used to do i used to conduct the knowledge transfer sessions mm -hmm. so like suppose i i am working on login module i will be after completing the module i will be uh, giving the kt to other team members so that they are also aware of what is happening within the project so this is like how i got to learn and how i got to grow within the industry so reflecting on your career uh, what are the some what are some notable challenges you have faced and uh, how did you overcome them 
can you just identify key learning moments or turning points in your professional journey that uh, significantly influence your growth as a software engineer yeah so there are like various kind of challenges which uh, as a developer we can face like uh, technical challenges are also part of it then handling like if you are a team lead and someone is in the team who is equivalent to your uh, role but he is not leading the team that time you can find opinion differences between you and the that team, team member yeah. so those kind of challenges also we used to face but then we uh, used to uh, had a discussion around ourselves and then find out a solution common solution what is what the other person is finding uh, feasible what we are finding feasible then uh, come out of that situation and then uh, noting down okay what is the best approach to follow like that discussion is i think uh, between uh, the con to, discussion is the best thing to resolve the conflicts so that's how we used to do that and for technical challenges whatever we used to face uh, i think uh, we have a lot of ad hoc uh, help documents so we used to go through the help documents so from that we used to find out the solutions let me just go to soft skills now uh, can you just discuss the importance of communication and collaboration and teamwork in the context of software development uh, drawing for your experience from your experiences communication and teamwork both are very very important like if we are working uh, if we, no one is working alone on the project so like we have a dedicated teams for example there are various kind of roles we have a front end developer teams yeah. back end developer teams qa team we have like for testing we have a uh, business analyst so definitely communication is key and uh, uh, for a team to work successfully and uh, we, even we have the uh, discussions with the clients so if we are not able to convey what uh, what the uh, what we are trying to achieve in the project then that is of no use so communication i think plays a very good amount of role in the project completion so how do even though we are working hard as a developer but we need to convey it to client also that's also <laughs> very important Okay. So, how do you approach your role in team projects, and uh, could you share a uh, share a significant collaboration experience that stands out in your project history? Yeah. So now I am working as a lead. So definitely, I am managing a team. So I know, uh, like, how I am handling the team is like we have various tools to manage the teamwork. Like, for example, I'll take two uh, tools. One is Jira. We are using. So in Jira, what we do. Uh, every ticket which whatever task is being allocated to us that will be noted down in the jira with the uh, with the complete description then whatever task or whatever challenges team is facing so they will be noting it down in the comments and even work log they will be putting so in the work log what they will be doing every day what or uh, they are trying to achieve or if there is any blocker uh, they are not able to move forward then they will let us know so this is very important tool which we are using for our team to uh, and we track the work of the team and uh, apart from jira if we are working on the support project then in that case we have service now tool service now framework where we are uh, like incidents will be logged then on the incidents we allocate the team to work then uh, they will be updating the comments uh, daily updates there yeah. so th those are the tools which we are using and uh, if team is facing any challenges then we have uh, two calls we are having one call in the morning that is internal scrum call and one with the client in the evening suppose if we want any input from the client or any update from the client then we are having a daily stand up call in the evening as well so through that i think uh, we are managing the team properly if there is any blocker they will it will be getting resolved in the call how do you stay informed about current trends and uh, emerging technologies in software industry how do you do that yeah so as i said previously so i uh, try to read uh, ad hoc help documents regularly so uh, there are also apart from help documents there are like they provide some releases hot fixes and also community forum they have okay. so i try to be connected there like in the community forum um, many of the senior leaders they put on the articles so i try to read uh, those articles so through those things i get to know okay this is uh, upcoming thing and this is newly implemented and what uh, how how much helpful this feature is so through that we get to identify so we need to continuously read the help documents which adobe is maintaining and uh, also we need to be part of community forum where top senior leaders are there who will be sharing their knowledge who will be uh, mentioning what is the upcoming feature of am 
and what are the like other plugins which we can use now like recently i read an article like chat mm -hmm. gpt also can be integrated in aum okay so we can write a servlet to integrate chat gpt and what it will do it will be reducing the work of the content authors it yes, will be yes. automatically populating the content in the pages yeah, yeah. so can you just talk us uh, through your overall career satisfaction till now and highlight aspects of your job that you find most rewarding and most enjoying about your uh, own job so like a job will be rewarding if the technology is changing and you are able to adapt to the technology then definitely it will be giving you rewards in the future on uh, for example as a developer if i am working for a client i get some appreciations from the client uh, even from the managers if i get the appreciation that is a good reward for me yes. and those will come only if i am able to adapt to the new things which are coming in the technology and i am able to apply that and then yeah client will be giving uh, appreciating us and that will give us the satisfaction that we are able to do the things what we were given at last we can say software if you want to be a good, good software engineer you need to adapt to the situation and learn technologies on the go while yeah. you know, while you are doing a job and all that stuff so great yes. so thank you sir thank you anurag sir for sharing your valuable insights and experiences with us today uh, we wish you continued success in your career and we look forward to the exciting developments that lie ahead for you uh, once again thank you anurag and uh, hope you. you will have a wonderful day thank you yeah, so much thank you have a wonderful day bye Thank you.